Hi, I am Salahuddin. Today I am here to discuss subset sum problem. It is a backtracking problem. First, let's see what is the problem. Here we have a set of elements. There are five elements in this set. And we want to make 15 using those elements. The problem is that in how many ways we can make 15 using those elements. First, let's see the state space theory to find the all possible solutions. Here we have five elements. So here first element if we use x1 equal to 0 and if we don't use the element that is to find out the all possible solutions we will use either this element or not this element. Like for first element either we will use this element or we will not use this element. Same for second level, either we will use this element or we will not this element. Either we will use the second element or we will not use second element. And now for same for third element, x31 x3 0 for fourth element same for fifth element so here same here for third element either we will use or not we will use this element. Same here, we have level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 level. And this is a binary search tree. So the total cost here will be 2 power 5, that is 2 power n time complexity. And this is an exponential. So using the heuristic search, uh, and uh, using all possible solutions, uh, the time complexity will be exponential and uh, this is not efficient. And uh, in, to make it efficient, we need to use backtracking to, by using the constraints that is our uh, bounding function, we can solve this problem uh, in an efficient way. Now we will see using backtracking, how can we solve the problem in an efficient way. Uh, to solve uh, the backtracking, in backtracking, we first need to short the array, that is, here we first need to short it, that is 3, 5, 6, 7, and 10. And the 3 is the first element, 5 is the second element, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Using backtracking, we know that backtracking is a deep first search, so we will see the tree, how we can solve it. Here the first element is 0, the summation of uh, the subset is 0, this is our base case. Now we will add the first element, first element if we use here x1. Then the value will be here 0 plus 3 equal 3. Now we will add x2. Then the value here will be 3 plus 5 equal 8. Now we will add x3. The value here will be after adding x3 6 here will be 14. Now we will add our fourth element x4. After adding fourth element, the value is here 21. Here we are seeing that our target value 15 and uh, we have reached here 21 by using fourth element. So the by adding all those elements from first to fourth, the total value is 21 and that is more than 15. So we will not go more further. Here we will use our bounding function, that is we will come back here. And after coming back here, we know that 
the array is sorted and uh, by using x4 with this value we have got more than value that from than our target value so we will come back from here after coming back here we have already used to x3 and uh, now we will use x4 x4 that is that is we will get the total value here by using x1 x2 and x4 but not using x3 so here the value here will be by adding x1 and x2 we know 8 and by adding x4 with the value we have got 8 plus 7 equal 15 yes we have got our target value here so we have got our first solution here that is the first subset from this set to get the value 15 we have we need to use x1 x2 and x4 that is first value 3 the solution first s1 here will be x1 x1 means 3 x2 x2 means 5 and x4 x4 means 7 by adding these three elements we will get 15 this is our first solution now we will continue further to find our to find out all possible solutions we have got our solutions by adding x4 elements with this node so we know that we don't we will not get the solution by adding more elements that is that as this is a shorted array so we will go back from here to here and from here x4 we have already used and we will go back here now after coming back here, we will use here x2, we have used here till x2, now we will use x3. By adding x3, that means we will get the value here by adding x1 and x3, the value is here 3 plus x3, x3 is it 6, so here we will get 9. Now we will add x4 x4 by adding x4 the x4 is 7 by adding x4 with this value is 7 plus 9 equals 16 here 16 is more than 15 so we will use here our bounding function and we will go back here and we know that we don't need to proceed further as this is a shorted array so we will again come back here and uh, we will use our other possible solutions that is x4 x4 now we will use x4 after adding x4 the value is for 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 equals 10 yes and now we will use x5 x5 after adding x5 the value is 20 and uh, by using our bounding function we will we, we will go come back here and uh, from here as we have already used all elements and we will come back here and again we will use our fifth element x5 here the value is 3 and x5 is 10 so the value here will be 13 as we have used all elements and we don't have more elements so we will our we will use our bounding function and we will Come back here and after coming back we will use our second element that is x1 now we will use x2 by adding x2 by using x2 as a first element we will get 0 plus 5 equal 5 0 plus 5 equal 5 um, okay now we will see this portion so I need to wipe out this portion here x2 x2 from x2 here first we will use x3 after using x3 here we will get 6 plus 5 equal 11 and by using x4 here we will get x4 here 7 plus 11 equal 18 so 18 is more than 15 and we will use our bounding function and we will come back here and uh, again we will come back here and here we will use x4 
by using x4 the value is 5 plus 7 equal 12 and we will use x5 and by x5 it is 22 and we will use again our bounding function and we will go back from here to here and here now we will use x5 by using x5 the value is here 15 as x5 is 10 and here our value is 5 so here we have got our another solution and to get the solution we need to use x2 and x5 so our another subset of the solution is x2 second element 5 and fifth element 10 this is our second solution now we will go further as we have used x2 now we will use x3 this was x1 x2 now we will use x3 x3 by using x3 our first element the value here will be 6 and now we will continue here we will x use x4 by adding x4 the value here will be 6 plus 7 equal 13 and now we will add x5 the value here will be 23 so we will use our bounding function and we will go back here and again we will go back here now we will add here x5 by adding x5 the value here will be 16 so here again we will use our bounding function so we will come back here and from here we will now use x4 x4 by using x4 our first element the value is here 7 and by adding x5 the value here will be 17 so here we will use our bounding function and we will come back here and again we will come back here here x5 by adding x5 the value here will be 10 and we don't have a more elements so here we will use our bounding function so by using backtracking the we have got the total two solutions that is s1 and s2 that is the elements of s1 is 3 5 and 7 and by and the elements of s2 is 5 and 10 and uh, in this way by using the constraints that is the bounding function in backtracking uh, across we can solve the problem in efficient way now we will see the implementation in c++ for to implement it first we need a uh, array suppose integer subset the total size of 5 to hold the elements of the subset now if the function is void find subset and if integer the set the set of the elements integer iterator of the set is itr the subset integer subset integer subset position ss pos um, integer the total the elements of the subsets the total sum of the elements of subset that is t so first we will check if the total uh, total uh, total the cost of uh, the total the summation of the total elements of the subset is equal to our total value here so it is st that is if st equal 
our total target cost that is t then we will print we will print all the elements from the subset and the position of the subset and uh, we will uh, not uh, add uh, we will not go further because we have risk to our target position so we will stop here and the yields if the elements first we will check the constraints that is the total value of the if st plus the current value s of s iterator greater than greater than our target value then we will return from here will not go further else we will continue it for that is if the yes iterator less than the total number of elements that is n is iterator plus plus and here we will again our constraint check our constraints that is our bounding function that is is t plus s of s iterator greater than t less than equal t actually less than equal t then we will continue further that is we will add the value to our subset s s pos equal s s iterator and we will call this function as this is a depth first search to go further find the subset that is s s i t iterator plus one subset subset pos plus one and our total value will be that is st plus subset ss pos to get the full implementation please visit my github repository and uh, thank you for watching the video